as a fish, why would I speak to a goat? Well, apparently you have the heart of a goat, and I have the heart of a fish. We should get along better than any goat or fish. So you're saying you think we should become as as friends because we are different? Yes. We should utilize our differences to realize that we're all the same. Yes, we are all in the unity of the verses. I agree with that. Yeah. A mighty verses. A mighty verses. In the beginning, there was goat versus fish. The goat fish. And goat versus fish said that there should be goat and that there should be fish. There is no alpha or omega. There is no black or white. There is no good or evil. There is only goat and fish. And goat versus fish. Welcome to the Goat vs. Fish podcast, recorded at the world-famous comedy store Los Angeles, a place of Goat vs. Fish. Whether it is the first verses you have heard Goat vs. Fish, or you have heard many verses of Goat vs. Fish, the verses is within you and within Goat vs. Fish. You have many questions, yes? Who is Goat vs. Fish? What is Goat vs. Fish? Why is Goat vs. Fish? But there is only one question. Are you goat? Or are you fish? This is Goat versus Fish. But wait, the one cries out. How can I witness Goat versus Fish? How can I see Goat versus Fish and attend the verses of Goat versus Fish? Well, Goat and Fish, you can always go to GoatVersusFish.com. That's GoatVSFish.com. And you will see all the upcoming verses, when they are, where they are. Of course, Goat vs. Fish is in all places at all times, Goat vs. Fish. But you can see it, yes? See it at GoatVersusFish.com, yes. For one versus, you can see Goat vs. Fish at the Comedy Bath. The verses of the Comedy Bath, yes? It is on what the ones call June 15th, yes? And you can see it at Echoes 5025 West Pico Boulevard, Los Angeles, yes? That is a place to see a versus. That is a place to see a versus. That versus does begin at what the ones call 9 p.m. It is the comedy bath. Yes, it is the comedy bath. A bath? It sounds like a place of fish. Of goat versus fish. We shall see you at that versus. We shall see you at that versus. If you intend to come to that versus, do send a message to Goat versus Fish, and you will not even need to spend any verses to attend that versus. Do send a message to Goat versus Fish. Do send a message to Goat versus Fish. June 15th, 2018 verses. Comedy Bath. Goat versus Fish. And it was written, and it was written. Ones who listen, ones who listen to the Goat vs. Fish podcast. You have been listening, yes, you have been listening to Goat vs. Fish speak to the ones. Goat vs. Fish is always learning of the ones. But what of the verses? What of the verses? We have examined the verses within. But what of the verses without? You hunger for verses! You hunger for verses, do you not? Well... Goat vs. Fish is here to bring you verses. Is here to bring you verses. For one verses, for all verses. Let us begin this verses of Goat vs. Fish and see who does triumph. The goat or the fish. Speaking to Goat vs. Fish now are two ones. Two Ones that Goat vs. Fish has spoken to before. And what do the ones call this one? The ones call me Alex Hooper. Make some noise for this one. Make some noise for this one. 
And what do the ones call this one? Mia fucking Mars. They call it Mia fucking Mars, yes. Woo! Noise was made for that one. Noise was made for that one, yes. One that is called Alex Hooper, yes? Yes. You have claimed at some verses, you have claimed at some verses that you are a fence stander. I yes? am a fence stander, that is correct, for I stand on the fence so I can see all sides. I watch everything that is happening beneath me. And one that is called Mia Mars, yes? You have, at some verses, claimed to be a fence jumper. Yes, I am a fence jumper. How is the fence jumper different from the fence stander? Of course, to goat versus fish, they're all fence sitters. But let us learn of these ones and how they speak of the fence, yes? What is this fence jumper that you do speak of? And how does it differ from the fence stander? I am very much a fan of the verses. And if there are not enough fish, which... Unfortunately, there sometimes are not. I will go over to the fish side for the sake of the verses. Why would there not be enough fish, though? Really? I don't, sometimes there's I feel... plenty of fish in the world. There's look at how many sushi restaurants are in this neighborhood alone. That's true. There's but... so many fish; they're all thriving. Do you ever sometimes find yourself out of verses and realize you're like the only fish? No, that's never happened because really? I run. I run with a pack of many fish. You run with a school. I, of course, that's how I do. I always have people or uh, other fish around me. So now you are saying you are fish. You are saying you are fish now. I, I swim amongst the fish, but I am still still standing on the fence. I'm balancing upon it on one foot. Like a squirrel. Just like a squirrel. Which sounds like a fence sitter, yes. Now you do say you are a fence stander, yes, but you did say once to goat versus fish that you sit on the fence out of reverence to goat versus fish. That is very true. I do. I, I respect both goat and fish. Therefore, I do not feel it is in my best interest to choose which one I am because I am everything. I am goat. I am fish. Therefore, I stand upon the fence of goat versus fish. What do you say to this one, Mia Mars? Yes, can one sit on the fence in reverence of goat versus fish? You have said, have you not said, of goat and fish? We do not need to verses. We need to come together and verses the fence sitters, you did say. I have. They choose not to choose. You did say this. What do you say to this one that claims it can be in reverence of goat versus fish by sitting on the fence? I think that you have chosen something different. As long as you choose something interesting, you... It's the ones that choose neither goat nor fish. If you choose something more interesting, then by all means. Why must we make choices at all? Because this is society. Why can we not live with questions? Apparently people don't like questions. I think you should be taught to question everything. As do I, because I'm a Jew. Well, there you go. Yeah, but that's not what goat a versus goat fish is Jew. about. That's not what goat versus fish is about. You can't ask questions. You got to choose goat or fish, and then you just listen to what he says. See, I disagree with that. I think you can ask questions, and I think you can choose to stand on the fence if that is what you choose. For I am a part of everything. Therefore, I am goat. I am fish. I am the goat fish. How wide is this fence that you're standing on? Oh, it's very skinny. I'm very good at balancing. Yeah. For those that don't know, please follow me on Instagram. You will see. I am a balanced, balanced man. I eat a balanced breakfast. I live a balanced life. I am, in fact, a gymnast. I have a good question we should ask goat versus fish. Ah, you do have a question yes. for goat versus fish, yes. Well, where in 2018 did you buy Beanie Babies? You are speaking of goat and fish? You are speaking of the goat and fish that are here? Yes. Many have called them Beanie Babies, yes. Why do they call them as such? Why do they call them as such? It is usually the fence sitters that say, what are these Beanie Babies? Goat versus fish tries to tell them they are simply goat. And fish. What do you think is more valuable, a beanie baby or a human baby? Because no one's ever thrown away a beanie baby. Goat versus fish has not heard many ones that call themselves a, a beanie baby. Yes, they have called themselves a human before, and the humans seem to be the ones, yes, that choose goat or fish. Goat versus fish would prefer one that chooses goat or fish than one that does not. Goat versus fish has not heard one claim to be a beanie baby that chooses goat or fish. So goat versus fish would prefer the one that you do call the human baby, be it goat the or human fish. baby. But the baby does not have to choose whether it is goat or fish. The baby can just be baby. Oh, you speak of the small ones, yes? Yes, yes. the small ones. Yes, the small ones, yes, perhaps they are not ready to choose yet, but they will choose. They will choose, yes. But some say they are born a goat or a fish. I think I was born a fish and turned myself into a goat. I believe that I was born with equal parts goat and fish. I'm a goat that can swim. I'm a fish who can walk. Be on the very land of the goat. How does this make this goat feel, goat? 
I'm more interested than anything. I'm not angry. I'm just interested. I just want to know more. What would be more interesting, a goat who can swim or a fish who can walk? Like, if a goat can hold its breath underwater, that's pretty interesting. Because I've seen walking fish. That's just a mud skipper. Right. If you were scuba diving and you were all the way down deep under the water, and then all of a sudden a goat went swimming by, you would be quite amused. I, I would be incredibly amused. Yeah. But if you were in the middle of the woods and a fish walked by, you would also be quite amused. I would just call that evolution. But why can't the goat be swimming the evolution? I don't know. Evolution doesn't like to go backwards for some reason. Maybe the goats need to go back into the ocean to figure out where they came from all along. But we're too high on the mountaintops. How high is the fence? Well, you have jumped it, yes. You claim to have jumped it, yes. Yes. How high was the fence? It depends on how many people are there. Is it a human fence? Is it a fence made of humans? It's a fence made out of silence. Oh, okay. I like that. Yes. When people say, are you goats? And they go, woo! And then they say, are you fish? And I hear nothing. It is my turn to jump the fence and go, yeah! Yeah, sure, I'll be a fish for this versus. So you speak for the people that otherwise are not represented. Yes, fish have a tendency to be silent for some reason, probably because they like to go with the flow. Goats are, you know, charge ahead with their horns and they go, fuck yeah, punk rock. But fish are like, yeah, that's chill. That's true. That's that's one of the reasons why I am both goat and fish, because while I like to plow forward, I also just like to do my own thing and kind of just go where the waves take me. Now, goat versus fish will not comment on every fence thing that these ones do say, yes, because we are trying to learn of these ones and hear what these ones have to say to one another, yes. But how does a goat with the heart of a fish differ from a fish with the heart of a goat. One has claimed to be one, the other has claimed to be the other one. Yes, let us first hear from the one that is a goat that has claimed to have the heart that is a fish, that in its heart, it is a fish. I turned myself into a goat. I used to be very go with the flow, very etc. But I realized you don't get very far in life that way. So you got to push forward, you got to steam ahead. I come from goatly, goatly, I come from fishly roots. But if you want to get anywhere... You got to be a goat. You got to climb the mountain. You got to eat the grass. You got to do other goatly shit. I also eat a lot of crap from 7-Eleven, so I eat a lot of garbage. So I think that makes me a goat. That's a very goat thing to do. Yes. That's for sure. Unless you're eating the tuna fish from 7-Eleven, at which point that's more of a fish move. That is very much a fish move. How does your experience when you have been a fish that in its heart is a goat differ from this one that is a goat that in its heart is a fish? Because as a fish... I feel that I just go and do wherever the world takes me. However, I'm nurturing and I am loving and I'm somewhat grounded in my beliefs that we are all everything. Therefore, even though I am a fish, my heart is nurturing and takes care of others and wants to be a goat. But overall, I still have fishly tendencies. Hmm. I don't think there's much difference between us, except you're more of a fence stander and I'm more of a fence jumper. If anything, we unite in the verses. We unite in the verses and we want a good verses. You like to versus goat versus fish. I like to versus other fish and other fence sitters. But you're not a fence sitter. You're a fence stander. That's correct. Sometimes I've actually seen you jump over said fence while I'm balancing upon it. Yeah, yeah. Next time we should high five on the way. Oh, we will. Oh, yes, we will. We will. High five, low five, medium five, will five all the way. Now, we have gotten to know these ones. We have gotten to know these ones. But Goat versus Fish wishes to help these ones learn of Goat versus Fish. Are you willing each to learn of Goat versus Fish with Goat versus Fish as part of Goat versus Fish? Knowledge is power. Of course. Then we shall have a versus. Trust Goat versus Fish. And for this versus, this goat must be a true goat. A true goat that is versus the fish. And this fish must be a true fish that is versus the goat. Goat versus fish knows that later you may claim to jump the fence. Or you may swing back to the fence if that is what you do. But for now, for now, over the fence, let go of the fence for just this versus and be a fish that is versus goat. And be a goat that is versus fish. Are you goat or are you fish? I, for the sake of this exercise, I will be fish. And are you versus the goat? For the sake of this exercise, as of now, the fish is versus the goat. Are you goat or are you fish? I am goat. I am versus this fish. 
It is goat versus fish. It is goat versus fish. Goat versus fish. Fish, what is it like to know that you are about to verses? What do you anticipate will come in this verses? As a fish, I don't even know the meaning of a verses. I am just going with wherever the world takes me. Therefore, if I am meant to battle or meant to verses, then so it be, but I'm just going to continue living the way I've always lived. Goat, what do you say in anticipation of the verses of this fish? Oh, I'm going to fucking eat you. If that is your prerogative, then I will be eaten. But at which point, I you will eat me and uh, take some of my mercury in, which will eventually poison you and kill the goat. At which point, your children, your kids, will also perish because they will not have the matronly figure of their goat mother. You know, whenever I am goat versus fish, I forget that I'm a female goat. I just think of myself as a non-gendered goat. But I never thought of myself as a female goat. That makes me feel stronger. That means I have milk. Yes. But you have eggs. I do have eggs. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. I, uh, I, do you know, I just lay them wherever I choose. I just leave them there and let everybody else do the work. Are you ready for the first verses? Are you ready for the first verses? Let's do it. The verses of choosing. The verses of choosing. You see before you, there are ten goat, there are ten fish, and there are ten fence hitters, yes? Yes. We shall see who does choose more, the goat or the fish. The goat, the fish, and the fence sitter. They go within goat versus fish. They go within goat versus fish and are covered by goat versus fish. There shall be five choosings. Who shall do the first choosing? Who shall do the first choosing? Sure, I will totally do the first choosing. Go with the flow. Goat versus fish. Do I look at it? Yes, reveal it. What have you chosen, fish? (laughs) It is a goat. It is a goat. It is a goat fish. What is it like to choose goat for the first choosing? My entire sense of self is collapsing around me. Goat versus fish. Goat versus fish. The fish chooses... Fence sitter. Fence sitter. I think it's funny that you're a fence sitter and you chose goat and I'm a goat and you chose fence. That one is a fish. Yes. For this verses, it is a fish. It has said it is fish and you are a goat. I'm fucked. Why are you fucked? Because you're winning. Are you not? This is not a winning or losing situation. This oh, is an there shall be triumph. There shall be triumph in this verses. If the goat, if there are more goat that are chosen, it is the goat that shall triumph this verses. Oh this is shit! A then I'm winning. This should not be a matter of winning and losing. This should be a matter of understanding oneself. But this then should it's be a matter a of personal exploration. But then it's not a verses. I am not against anyone. I am only for myself. Fish. It is time to choose again. It is time to choose again, fish. Choosing goat or fish or a fence-sitter. Yeah. It is a fish. Oh, the fish looks so sad. I think it looks afraid. It does. I think it looks like it just walked down on its parents having sex. (laughs) Like, that's what that fish looks like. And it's never going to be the same again. No. Now you have chosen one goat, but now fish, now you choose fish, and the fish contributes to this versus, contributes to helping the fish triumph in this versus. How does this fish feel now that it has chosen fish? I am still personally conflicted as to what I am. I am I part goat? Am I part fish? What am I? I am everything. But you have said you are fish. As represented by the cards. No, you have said I am fish. I have said I am a fence stander. You have claimed me as a fish for the purpose of this exercise so we can have the verses. Goat versus fish asked if you were willing to be fish for this verses, and you did say that you were. Are you willing to be fish for this verses? I am willing to act as a fish for the purpose of this verses. So as a fish, as a fish, how is it to know that you have chosen fish and that there is one? One more fish to help you triumph in this versus. Be the fish. Be I the feel fish. this personal sense of accomplishment. Like, it's, uh, oof. It's just, uh, like, I finally know who I really am. And now, another choosing, the fourth choosing of the verses of the choosing. It is one goat. It is one fish. It is one fence sitter. Goat, now is your time to choose. These are very high quality cards. These are. 
I got fish. It is another fish. Hello. It is another fish. Fish. The goat has chosen fish. Yes. Explain. Explain what this fish is thinking. I think that she's finally willing to understand that maybe it's not as simple as being a goat or being a fish. Maybe we are all made up of the same exact molecules, just formed in different shapes. That is easy to say, perhaps, when the fish is triumphing and you are acting as fish. Well, right now, it's a very close thing, though, right now. There's two fish, one goat, and one fence sitter. So, I mean, this is anyone's. It is anyone's versus, yes. What do you say, goat? What do you say, goat, that has chosen this fish? As a fence jumper, I don't give a shit. As a goat, I'm a little disappointed. I better get a goat or else I'm going to be sad. Well, then it shall be for you. It shall be for you to choose. I'm happy to share the wealth. Goat versus fish. Fuck! It is another fence fence sitter. sitter. You are a true fence sitter. Look at this. I mean, she says she's a goat. However, she chooses two fence sitters and one fish. Nothing at all leading me to believe that you're actually a goat. It questions your very goat. It questions I'm your very goat. I'm questioning my very goat. I can still see your horns, but even still, there's still... No, that's just because I'm a Jew. That's what that is. Those Jew horns. Yes, they do speak rather loudly. Now, this verses shall consist of three verses. But in this first verses of this verses, it is the fish that did triumph. It is the fish that did triumph! Yes! Are you ready for the next verses? Are you ready for the next verses? Let's do it. I am ready. The verses of revealing. The verses of revealing. Now, goat versus fish wishes to trust these ones, yes? Turn away, turn away from goat versus fish now. Turn away from goat versus fish. Goat versus fish will tell you when to look again at goat versus fish. All the history that must be in this carpet. You could make 30,000 open micers if you just took the (laughs) stuff that's on this carpet. (laughs) We could probably sell some, you know, some unsolved mysteries. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's Mm -hmm. a lot of them. (laughs) A lot of uh, unfinished punchlines are down there. Or finished punchlines. Well, the girl didn't finish. I doubt it. No. (laughs) Not with anyone here, that's for sure. No, no, no. This part of the podcast will be edited. This must make riveting, riveting fucking radio. Look again at goat versus fish. Look again at goat versus fish. Oh, shit. Yes. Whoa. Goat, what do you see before you? A bunch of dead gone fish. Oh, you see the goat and the fish that they are. They are lying. Yes, they are lying down. Yes, as if they are relaxing. Yes. Yes. Or dead. That's one way of putting it. Death is the great equalizer. Fish. You are a fish, yes? For the purpose of this exercise, I am a fish. You will not even say you are a fish without saying first that for the purpose of this uh, verse is as you, as you do call an exercise the verses. Yes, you cannot even embrace your fish to learn a fish in this verses. Ooh. Is there not something to be learned by saying for this verses, I will say I am fish. And when the verses is concluded, you may say whatever you wish. Will you be the fish? For the purpose of this exercise, I will be a fish. Then be a fish. As of right now, I am a fish. It is a fish. It is a fish. Then, as a fish, you'll see before you two fish. One is a true fish, and one is a goat that is disguised as a fish. How well do you know your fellow fish, fish? Look upon these fish, and when you think you know which is goat and which is fish, then you shall reveal You shall reveal what is beneath them to see if you know your fish from your fish and your goat from your goat. Ponder it. Ponder it now. Ponder aloud if you wish. I don't need to ponder it. I already know which one is the fish. Both of them are the fish. It has found the fish! It has found the fish! Never a doubt in my mind. But you do say both of them are the fish? Well, there might be a card under that other one that says goat, but even if it is, it's still a fish. What is beneath it? It is goat. It It is is goat. goat. But see, my heart still led me to the fish. Sure, I picked up the second one up on your command, but still, the first is where I was led in the first place. It was a fish that chose fish. It was a fish that chose fish, for it revealed that it was a fish. 
goat. Now is your verses. Yes, now is your verses. Mm -hmm. You see before you two goat, but one is secretly a fish. This one's the true goat. Oh, you say that one is the true goat. The How true do you know goat. that that one is the true goat? This one's peeking. Ah, you can see it? You can see it beneath it? Yes. Ah, well, if you can see it, then this this one, this fish, fish, you are not disguised very well as a goat. Yes, we shall do it again. Yes, we shall do it again. Yes. I, I must be but honest. Maybe, maybe it wasn't disguised because secretly she is a fish. I come from fish roots, so maybe I recognize the fish immediately. Look away, look away from goat versus fish. I don't want to look at the gross carpet again. It makes me think of bad things. Can't be any worse than the carpet in your apartment. <sighs> Probably not. Look at goat versus fish. Look upon these goat. Is there any uh, peeking, as you do say? Any revealing? No. Then which goat? Which goat is the true goat and which is the fish? This is the true goat. Ah, how do you know that this one, that this one is the true goat? It's speaking to me. What does it say? I'm a true goat. Then reveal it. Yeah. It is a goat. It is a goat. It is a goat. The goat has chosen the goat, it has found the true goat, and the fish has found the true fish as well, yes? Yes, I have. Then in this verses, there are none that do triumph. There are none that do triumph in this verses, for the fish has found fish, and the goat has found goat. Congratulations, goat and fish. Congratulations, goat and fish. Thank, Thank you. you. It is an honor to be here. It is. Now there is one more verses. There is one more verses, yes? The fish did triumph in the first verses of this verses. The second none did triumph, yes? But there is still time for this goat. But goat versus fish cannot say in this last verses who does triumph. It shall be for the ones who listen to decide, yes? Ooh. Yes, I like that. So you, all you out there, Comment. get ready to play. The verses of speaking. The verses of speaking. Goat. Goat versus fish. You may say whatever you wish to this fish. And then the fish may say whatever it wishes to the goat. When the goat is speaking, it is time for the goat to speak and for the fish to listen. And when the fish is speaking, the goat shall listen, yes? Goat, because the fish is already triumphing, do you wish to speak in the first or speak in the second? I shall speak in the second. Speaking in the second, then fish. Fish, it is time for you to speak to this goat in the verses of the speaking. We now hear from this fish. Please understand, Goat, that I view you with the utmost respect because in my heart, I am you. As in your heart, you are me. We are all connected. We are all part of the same molecules made up of the same atoms, protons, neutrons, and electrons formed together to make different shapes. But we all are here for the same purpose, to enjoy, to understand, to learn, and to love. And this fish loves that goat. So no matter what you decide you are, no matter what I am, there will always be love from this fish to that goat. Go ahead. Fuck you. <laughs> I just said that to myself based on what I said. No, I'm kidding. We, I respect you fish as someone that can, that does not need to that's someone that can go with the flow, as someone that has a school of fish, as someone that can swim into the depths of the sea. And we have climbed the highest mountain. We have not gone to the furthest depths of the oceans. You are mysterious. You are wise. There is much to be learned from you. And I believe in our unity of the verses, we can come together. And next time I jump the fence, I shall high five you. And I will accept it. We shall have the ones listen. We shall have the ones listen and choose who did triumph. But goat versus fish. Goat versus fish. Goat versus fish was versusing for such a versus, such a versus of goat and fish. But goat versus fish should have known that those ones who claim to be fence jumpers and fence standers, yes, that they would not versus with so much versus. Goat versus fish wanted versus. What do you give to goat versus fish? What do you give to goat versus fish? Goat versus fish. I'm going to eat you with my teeth, my ghostly teeth. No, no, no. It cannot cannot force the verses in this way. Goat versus fish. Goat versus fish! It was goat versus fish, but in the beginning, there was goat versus fish. The goat fish. 
Please understand goat versus fish. Sometimes goat versus fish, and this is, of course, the goat fish. This is, of course, the goat fish. Sometimes goat versus fish. Yes, it wishes to see verses. It wishes to see verses. But the goat fish thinks that perhaps that this goat and fish wish to form the unity of the goat fish. In my heart, it is not meant to compete, but to work together. Amen. Fish, would you form the unity of the goat fish with this goat and dispense with the verses? But of course, for in my heart, I will always be a goat. And goat, would you dispense with the verses and form the unity of the goat fish with this fish? For of course, because in my heart, I will always be a fish. Then you shall make the sign of the goat, and you shall make the sign of the fish, and they do come together, they do come together, and... It is a goat fish! It is a goat fish! And this goat and fish did form the unity of the goat fish! And in this verses, it was a goat fish. It was a goat fish! I would prefer it to be a fish goat, because I am slightly better. Ah, that does sound somewhat versusly. Somewhat versusly. Perhaps there are some verses in this goat fish after all. But it is a goat fish, or it is a fish goat. Yes, you wish to call it a fish goat? I will be a fish goat. You can be a goat fish. Deal. It is a fish goat. It is a goat fish. And that is what came of this versus of goat versus fish. How does it feel to be a goat fish goat? How does it feel to be a goat fish? It feels like I'm not alone. And how does it feel to be a fish goat fish? I just want to thank the Academy, uh, my parents, uh, everyone who's ever believed that a fish could have the heart of a goat and could be one with the entire universe to become, in fact, the fish goat. So thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you next year. Shall we sing a song of celebration of the goat fish? Oh, I th- would love that. Yes. Goat fish, goat, goat fish, goat fish, goat fish, goat fish, goat fish, goat fish. Goat fish, goat fish. fish. And it is the fish goat as well. It is the fish goat as well. Fish goat fish goat fish goat. Thank you for being part of Goatfish. Thank you for being a part of Goatfish. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Goat and fish. Goat and fish that have formed the unity of the Goatfish. How would the ones communicate with this Goatfish? Please follow this fish goat at hoopercomedy.com. Listen to my album Hugs, Drugs, Pugs on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, uh, wherever else you listen to music, and at Hooper Hair Puff on all social media. Please follow this goatfish on all social media as Mia Fucking Mars. M I A F U C K I N G M A R S. I'm not that impressive. You're very impressive. You're a goatfish. Thank you, Hooper. Thank you. My pleasure, Mars. So, as you can see, as you can listen, one cannot be goatfish alone. One cannot even be goat versus fish alone, unless, of course, you are goat versus fish, the goat fish. But if a goat and fish do come together, they can be versus, they can be together, goat versus fish. Or as a goat and fish, they can be the goat fish. They can be the goat fish, the unity of goat and fish. It is still goat versus fish. It is still goat versus fish. It will always be goat versus fish. Forever and always goat versus fish. Thank you for joining the goat fish. These are the verses of the goat fish. Subscribe, rate, and review the Goat vs. Fish podcast on the YouTube and the iTunes, for that is where you shall find the goat fish.
Follow the Goatfish on all social media. The Instantgram, the Book of Faces, the Twitterver, all at Goat vs. Fish, all at Goat vs. Fish. The theme music for this Versus was an offering by McHenry on SoundCloud. It is a fish. And if you, one who listens, has a celebration of the Goatfish, in song or poem or any other celebration, do send it, do send it to goat versus fish at gmail.com. That's goat vs fish. Send your celebrations and send your questions and send your pictures of goat fish, for the goat fish may celebrate them on an upcoming versus. Join the goat fish discussion group on the Book of Faces to discuss the goat fish with other goat and fish. You may find it as the goat versus fish discussion group, yes, but there are goat fish there, there are goat fish there. And when you are out in the land and the sea, look about you, look about you. Find one who is lost. Find one who does not know the way. Find one who does not know the unity of the goatfish. And ask, simply ask, are you goat? Or are you fish? Are you goat or fish? Are you goat or fish? Thank you for joining the Goatfish! I am the Goatfish! Goat versus fish! And it was written, and it was written! Fence-sitters.